So we just got settled in our camp here at Page, and a storm has rolled in. And you know what kind of nuts we are about thunderstorms. So we're heading up these cliffs here to go check out this storm that's just coming to here at uh, sunset. This is pretty steep. Look how cool that is. I see the sun through the clouds. Yeah. That's a lot of rain. Right over there. That's cool. Looks like a dust storm. It does look like Doesn't a dust it? storm, yeah. Our trailer, you can't quite see it, but it's right below these rocks right here, right right the very first one. We're right on the very first row. In the tree. In the tree there. Yeah, that big tree, that's where our trailer is. Oh, there you go. A little bit of lightning. A lot of rain. And Haley's doing her best uh, mountain goat impression. Yeah, if you didn't see the blue sky just off to your left there, <laughs> you'd think the world was coming to an end. <laughs> yeah, that's getting closer. We should probably head down. That was a drop. Crazy steep cliff. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't looking, but I think I filmed it. <laughs> That's really gotten dark, dark black over there. Oh, yeah. Wow. They're like interacting almost. All right, so we're heading back to the trailer because being up on a high hill, probably not the safest thing to do during a lightning storm. And here comes the rain. Wow, some really unique lightning. That's really, really wild looking, isn't it? There goes my lightning app on my phone another one I think I got it set for 15 miles so it goes off when there's uh, lightning within 15 miles of me pretty cool app especially for the boat you can change the range wow another one that one is just really throwing a lot of bright bright bolts So a little update on some of the modifications we made here now that we're all settled in at our campground in Page. Of course, you remember all the problems we had with the fridge being too warm. We now have the exact opposite problem. The, that's ice. So our fins are actually freezing up because the fridge is too cold <laughs> from one extreme to the other. So sometimes in the morning we actually have a little icicles in our milk but that's a solvable problem. There is a temperature adjuster on it, and we're working on getting that dialed in. And then um, this is the pantry that I modified in a different video. I added these two shelves. So we have six shelves instead of three. And you can see now how efficient that is in using the space there. Works so much better, holds a lot more stuff. You can check out that video on our channel. And then in the bathroom, oh wait, look, a teenager in their natural habitat <laughs> doing teenager things. It's my cave. Your, your cave. 
That's a pretty cool cave. It's a kid cave. Okay, anyways. In the bathroom, I actually didn't show this in my other video. I think we should point this out. This is an extender rod shower curtain. It's kind of hard to see, but basically this pulls out. That's your shower back behind there. And that shower rod curtain pulls out for when you're taking a shower, gives you about a foot more space from the shower curtain. So the shower curtain isn't clinging to you when you're taking a shower, which is just yucky. And then when you're done with your shower, you push it back over and you can put a towel, you can hang a swimsuit over the top and it'll drip into the tub portion of the shower. That works really good. It's like it's 29 bucks from Camping World and that is really well worth it, in my opinion. And then of course we have the ramifications and effects of living in an RV with two girls. That's a hair straightening burn. It got laid on the countertop there and melted because this is plastic, not porcelain like at home. But that's okay, I'll keep them around, they're pretty cute.